Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, y'all. Let's, let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. We want to thank uh, everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda. Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the early what I see this with the study and prayer line on this 31st day in August 2022. Time be just flying, don't it, John? Hallelujah. <clears throat> Go to uh, Hebrews uh, 12 on this morning. <clears throat> this, is my, this is not my first rodeo with this scripture. <clears throat> this is a scripture that I respect. <laughs> Hebrews 12. As y'all grab that, let me do that. JB, what's up with it, man? Bless you, Soya. Coles, what's up with it? Man, the Yahoo's in the building. Elder Yosef with my big sister Fee. Mother Joyce is in here. Welcome aboard, Occult Don Deems. Good to see you in here as well. Hallelujah. <coughs> Who's that? Tanya. Is that a Tanya Stanley? Yeah, what's up with the sis? Teresa in here as well. Good morning, uh, 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 Tanya. Is that Banks just came up in here? And Tia? As y'all slide in here, let's go to Hebrews 12 and 1. <clears throat> 12 and 1. Good, 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 uh, uh, Tanya. Hallelujah. He was 12 and 1. Look, look what this say, y'all. Look what this say. It says, Well, foreseeing, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking on Yahusha, the author and the finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the struos, the torture stake, right? Despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yah. <clears throat> Here we go again. Wherefore, um, see, and and that's super important. When I, when I teach this, you know, it's um, I always have to embellish on. You know, it's how you how you see things, how you look at it. Period. Barbara, good to see you in here, young faithful. But what for seeing? Brianna, good to see you in here. It's how you how you look at it. 
nobody is going to serve Yah the way he wants you to serve him, the way he commanded you to serve him, unless you see it that way. If, if you don't, if you don't see something a certain way, then you just don't, you don't, you don't see it like that. You don't see it like that. <clears throat> so, seeing is metaphoric language for acknowledging something. Yeah. Um. People that seek higher education is because they see the importance of it. People that, that work see the importance of working to, to have their own money. <clears throat> this is how you look at it. People that's faithful in a the marriage, they see it that way. And the people that don't see it that way, though they're married, they sleep around. <laughs> So the importance of seeing, um, <laughs> you know how um, some people will say to a believer, are you doing too much? <clears throat> Big bro, good to see you in here, Gene. You know how some people say they see somebody that serve you and they say, man, you're doing too much. <clears throat> and the reason why they say that is because they don't see y'all worth that. They, they don't they don't look at it like that. You know, them and y'all is cool regardless. Queen in the building. Good to see you, uh, 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 Jackie Bra. Always a pleasure. So the scripture is saying in Hebrews 12 and 1, Jackie, Trinda, sky blue, what it do? Listen, wherefore seeing, Pastor, a young now, good to see you in here. Wherefore seeing, we are also compassed about well, so great a cloud of witnesses. Okay. So what he is saying, what we see is a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of people that's written in scripture that serve the most high. Nicole Robinson, good to see you in here. That serve the most high. And he's talking about the previous chapter. We're in Hebrews 12, right? 12 and 1. But he's he's alluding to Hebrews uh, 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 11 and 11, the whole chapter. And Hebrews, the 11th chapter, well, the whole book of Hebrews is written to the Hebrews. And then that leads us to the Old Testament. Alina Franklin, good to see you in here. And in the Old Testament, it's the Hebrews history book. Come to find out it's our history book because we're the true Hebrews, but that's a whole nother conversation. Um, <clears throat> did I say what's up, Nicole? How you doing? Hebrews 12 and 1. Wherefore, seeing we can pass about with so great a cloud of witnesses, we got folks that witnessed a true relationship with the Creator. And what they went through in order to govern that relationship. What they gave up <clears throat> in order to substantiate or maintain that relationship. All the things they went through. All the way. In fact, some of them was killed for their faith and belief. Yeah. Yeah. So not only is the most high requiring us to see, but he gave us something to look at. He got some folks that served him, some human beings with like passions like us. 
same feelings, same emotions, same trials, same temptations, but they served it. All the way to death. And you can find that in the previous chapter. Now, if you read the previous chapter, it's talking about the conclusion that you should have derived to. Seeing what they saw. And that's not with your eyeballs. It's in your soul. That you see the benefit. <clears throat> you see the benefit of serving Yah. Are y'all with me? You see the benefit. And everyone don't see it as a benefit. Some people look at it as a hindrance. Serving Yah is going to mess up my love life. <laughs> Serving Yah is going to mess up my money. Serving Yah is going to hinder me from living my best life and having a good time. Leslie Sutton, good to see you in here. Shalom. <clears throat> so what we're seeing, we can pass the ball with so great a cloud of witnesses, the conclusion that he is prompting us to derive to is let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. And beset means to throw you off knock you off track. Titus, good to see you in here. We're in Hebrews 12 and 1. <clears throat> now, one of our challenges is because of the church world and their theological foolishness, their theological position, they believe that sin don't throw you off. That's why they thrown off. That's why you see all this dumb stuff and this foolishness from pastors and membership. You see the weirdest, most scandalous, heinous acts, conduct <laughs> coming from church folks. It's the truth. Yeah. Trisha Johnson, good to see you in here. Some people have had some serious bedroom rendezvous with church folks. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some folks got robbed by some church folks. <laughs> any any y'all in here? <laughs> by church folks. The scripture is offering because you see the resumes, the lifestyles of the folks that serve Yah to the point that they was willing to forsake their own lives to serve him. That's the cloud of witnesses that we have for an example. And when you have that type of example, you should be able to conclude easier that you should lay aside hindrances. That's what weights are. Anything that hinders your relationship with the creator, him, her, them, they, anything that hinders you, substance abuse, care what it is, any, anything that hinders your relationship with the most high, you should, you should lay it aside, the scripture says. And the sin, now that's specifically you out of pocket, you're going against the most high. Get rid of that, which does so easily throw us off. And I disclosed the average believer don't believe this because they can't see it. That's why I say we're for sin. They can't see what sin really does. Oh, it throws people that like even be in the presence of the most high. You're in the presence of the most high and he's talking to you. And those of us that say, I ain't finna do all that. Folks doing too much. Ain't nobody perfect. We had them devilish thoughts to keep us wicked to keep us screwing, to keep us pursuing what we doing, right? So we have thoughts like, ain't no, uh, ain't, ain't no telling what he doing. He preaching all that. He doing something too. You know, them wicked, dumb thoughts that people have, right? Listen to them, <laughs> right, right, right? Um, and, and, and so it keeps them in sin. It throws you off. 
I promise you. If I was living in sin, I wouldn't have made it all these years. I'm telling you that. I've been doing this a long time. And I would have quit because it's going to throw me off. Seeing throws you off. I promise you that. You might really have a zeal and a desire to serve the most high. But if you choose your sins, your personal life, your, 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 your fleshly desires over the word, it's going to throw you off. I'm talking to us that plan on making it. That want to hear him say, well, done thy good and faithful servant enter into the joy of Yahuwah. You want to hear that at the end of your life. Don't you? And those of us that want to hear that at the end of our life, we got a plan to make it to the end of our life. Beverly, good to see you in here. We're in Hebrews 12 and 1. We got the plan to make this one because goofy stuff happens. Do you know how many reasons I've had to quit? Do you know how many reasons that I have to go whoop somebody doggone behind? That take kindness for weakness? Right? I used, to, I used to fight all the time. I was known to be the bully type, not cool dude. All y'all don't know that about me. But, um, people have treated me like I was some type of a sucker. Real talk. I'm talking about to date. I'm not talking about just in the past. I'm talking about right now. You know how much time I spend at jujitsu and boxing and Muay Thai gyms? I'm there almost every day. And I, and I could fight before I started hanging out at the gyms all day. I was pretty good at it. And people will treat you like a sucker. And do you know what I do? I survive. I don't start fighting and cussing and acting a fool like I know how to do. I don't, if, if I'm willing to sin, it's going to knock me off. Oh, it's the truth. Yeah, I'd fight, Jeff. I'd fight. Not no more. I fight for y'all, you know. If I'm with you and somebody come, you know, I'm a protector. But I used to fight on ego, you know. I used to fight for, yeah, I'm, you ain't going to play with me. All that old dumb stuff. We should be protectors of our loved ones. Yeah, without question. We, we don't preach a weak gospel, but 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 the, 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 the true gospel is a protector. Lay my life down that you might live. I'm on that hype now. But I said that to say, listen, that we should lay aside hindrances in the sin because if you don't, you don't have to because we all grown here. We all making our own decisions. We can be like the rest of the church folks and just do you. <laughs> Yeah, do you. you? We got a line. We only go so far with this holiness stuff now. Do you? <laughs> yeah. But if you do you, just understand the result. You ain't going to make it. Not in this. So the scripture is saying, because you've seen a list of people, a list of human beings just like you, that walked away from their wicked nature, their wicked lives, the things that they would do. You've seen people biblically walk away, walk away, walk away and choose him. So he said, okay, since you saw that, then you do the same. Jazzy and Josie, good to see you in here. We're in Hebrews 12 and 1. Since you've seen that, since the Most High have people that was on earth that, 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 that did this thing. Listen, that's why I called it a cloud of witnesses. Because that means these people that did that and was faithful until death, they're dead now. Yeah, they, they left here. In other words, they're not, they're not in this body no more. They served their term. We serve in ours now. They served their term. I ain't mad at anybody that served a term with the most high and got the heck up out of here. <clears throat> out of the valley of the shadow of death. 
some some people when they leave and Jackie and y'all y'all know what I'm talking about trending all y'all. Uh, Keith lost his mom. Listen, um, with Beverly, no, all y'all lost somebody. Listen, but you, you lost you lost your loved one. They're gone. I'm not mad at nobody that left here that knew the Most High. That served him. No, I'm not mad at all. I'm telling you that. Because they served their term. We're foreseeing we're compassionate about so great a cloud of witnesses. They served their term. They, they forsook their way and they followed him. They forsook their way and they followed Yahweh. Yah's way. Is that all right? But in order to do that, we saw them lay aside the weights, the hindrances, and the sins. Because if they didn't, it would have thrown them off. And then it told us to let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Okay, so now when we move forward, we trust in him for everything. So as they, you know, start drying up the food and certain products are starting to come up missing and they're flirting with World War III and they keep hitting us with all these fake diseases and, they, and, and then they want to prompt the diseases to make it look like it's us. Yeah, that's what they do. They, they make it look like it's a certain demographic of people. Anything bad, they want to put your face on it, even if you ain't got nothing to do with it. If it was a million people with something and it was only one of us, they're going to take a picture of the one of us. They don't never run the cameras through the trailer parks, y'all. And all them meth heads and all, the, all them houses that blow up for them trying to, to fix their drugs. They're going straight to, to, to a certain demographic of people and put the camera on them. Anybody that exalts himself that's, that's positive in our community, they snatching them down. They screwing too. They screwing little kids. They screwing each other. They, they making you if, you, if you got their money, they money in your pocket, you make a deal with them, they going up in you and your wife. That's how they get out. And your children. <laughs> yeah. They'll take a believer. I'm still upset about that. Of how they took a, a, a believer. I ain't gonna say his name. Y'all should figure it out. But they took a believer that had a perfect family, for the lack of a better term, a perfect family, had a mother and a father and all the children matched and all the children were married with children and there was a believing type of a system and every time he would make a, a shot, he'd kiss it up to Yah, no scandals, no blemish, man, them jokers, man, them jokers got them. Wife wouldn't show none of her body parts or none of that. Perfect family. Now his wife is rolling around with giant python snake, half naked. He taking pictures with her in the air like he boning her. He got a apparel, his hat and his organization, 666. He got a 666 hat that he promotes now. He used to run with believers. They smashed that fact. Did you know they took his mother and father? And now his his mother is with this man. That's one of them fake Jews. Right? The father, the father is with his wife. There is a fake Jewish couple, and his parents is with them. The father is with the wife, and the mother is with the husband. Boom. And when they put the camera on them, right? During the finals, when they put the camera on him, right? As soon as the camera went on, he grabbed this ugly, ugly too. His wife, beautiful lady. Ugly, ugly little, ugh. And he just, as soon as the camera put on him on cue, and he had a 6'6 six, six hat on like his son. I, hey, man. They hate us. We're foreseeing, we, we're in Hebrews 12, y'all. I'm just telling you what they do to us. Oh, you don't want nothing to do with them. Uh, uh, Dave Green, look, good to see you in here, sir. Hebrews 12 and 1. We're foreseeing, so we got to see this thing. We got to see what's going on, right? Right now, it's telling us to see what's going on with the believers because he won't have us ignorant concerning Satan and his devices. We see these devils now. What they do, how they get out. 
You, you can't have nothing. They took Bill Cosby. We had Bill. Oh, they ripped his head off. Oh, yeah. yeah. How you going? I ain't even going there right now. But what for seeing we're compassed about with so great a cloud of witness. It's all about seeing. It's all about the ability to see. Because you better, you really want to see why we should be serving our creator. Why we should be crying out before him. Because we're in the land of our captivity. And we be thinking we not. Oh, I was born here, man. <laughs> yeah, you was born here and the majority of y'all in jail. Going through pure hell. Being set up, dogged out, redlined. You 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 train your boss. A, one of them jokers come in there, you train them, and they're going to have your job. They're going to be your boss and be nice to them while you're training them. <laughs> Wherefore seeing, so 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 he wouldn't have it, it we can see. But look at what he's telling us to see right here. Wherefore seeing we can pass the Bible. So great a cloud of witnesses, right? People that can't, that went through this hellhole, that lived here on earth, right? But served him. A cloud of witnesses. And because we see that, then we should lay aside, get rid of anything that's going to stop you from making it. Yeah, him, her, I don't care how good it feel. Get rid of mess up. Giving him something he can feel. Get out of there. Get up. No, get out of here. Tim Sype, good to see you in here. We in. Hebrews 12 and 1. Listen. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside, listen, let us lay aside <laughs> to let him know. Let it lay, lay, get gone, girl, gone with it. Mm -mm, no, been there, done that, went there, came back. I choose y'all now. I'm done. Gone with that. I don't need it. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Look what it says. Second verse. Looking on the Yahushua, that's my focus. If you stay focused, you won't go for the hocus pocus. Listen. Looking on the Yahushua, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. So him being the author, he's going to write the win in for the believer. The author dictates who wins. It's not that fake doctrine they're talking about the most high chose who going to make it, who not going to make it before the foundation of the world as individuals. No, he didn't. He chose the demographic of people that's going to make it and the demographic of people that's not. And the demographic of people that's going to make it is the believer. Those that trust him, that fall in love with love, that love him back, that reciprocate, those are the ones going to make it. And the unbeliever ain't. Because they're going to be wicked. They're going to choose evil. They're going to choose themselves. They're going to choose their sins. They're going to choose their wickedness over the most high. I'm just telling you the truth. It's my job to tell you the truth. I'm not trying to win a popularity contest. I'm going to tell you the truth. So looking on the Yahushua, the Messiah, y'all, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, now he's involved. Who for the joy that was set before him endured what they call the cross. What joy did he have that caused him to endure the cross? Because you know what the cross is, right? It's a torture stake. What in the world caused him to endure? That's why I can't complain. The little chump stuff that happened to me, folks take my money, stab me in the back, smile in my face, you know. Some things didn't happen to me during this race that I could have did something about. I'd rather I'd rather do a yon's way, period. And in comparison, right, the cloud of witnesses we was talking about were people. But then when you get to the second verse, you see your Savior is involved. Your Messiah, the Mashiach is involved. Oh, we talking now. Because Yah loved us so much that he was found fashioned as a man. And be found fashioned as a man, he endured the torture state for us. He humbled himself and came obedient on the death, even the death of that torture state, what they call the cross, the struos. 
in Greek. Listen, looking on the, our perfect example, the Messiah, who is the author and defender of our faith, who for the joy, that was, what joy? Who for the joy that was set before him endured. He didn't quit. He said in the Garden of Gethsemane, I would that this cup pass from me. I don't want to go through this. But nevertheless, not my will, meaning the, the will of his humanity, the will of his flesh, the desires of his humanism. Not my will, but thy will be done. Tracy Sims, good to see you in here. Look. <clears throat> Looking on to Yahushua, the Messiah, Yah is salvation, the author and defense of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him to rescue us was his joy. He became our kinsman redeemer. He was our kinfolk. He was of the, of, the, of the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he came to rescue his kinfolk and anyone else that joined the family. That's the church dispensation. Anyone else that was grafted in, being heathens and the foreign uh, nations that served other gods. That's where the other gods fit. Folks, nations of people that didn't serve the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They had gods too. That's why people say there's many paths. Ain't number one path. That's why the Messiah said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. All them other gods, they're heathen nations. He said, but if you forsake them other heathen gods, you can join the family too. Because I'm coming back for mine. The Hebrews, that's who he's coming back for. And anyone that joined that served the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Folks believe in replacement theology as if the church replaced his children. No, 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 no. His children was busy getting their behinds beat, behind turning on him, saying, oh, let his blood be upon us and our children. Holler, crucify him. You, Boy, I don't, why you involve me? Why they saying me and my children? Say you. They said, let his blood be upon us and our children. Okay, well, the blood is upon us then. But in a good way now. We received the blood because he died for us. Uh, better yet, he rose for us. Now we can rise up to walk in the newness of life. Second verse, y'all. Looking on to the Messiah. The author and the finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him. You know, in James, it says, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work with patience and let patience have a perfect work that you may be perfect and entire, lacking nothing. The joy, who for the joy that is set before him, when you can be tempted and tested and you pass the test, because you please in Yah, because you love Yah like that. When you stand on the word and people see that you've changed, the joy you get, because that helps them make it, that they can see you change, and that gives hope to them that they can change as well. Do you know how wonderful that is? Looking on the Yahushua, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy, he had joy in rescuing us, and he had joy in rescuing us for Yah. Because he knew how much Yah loved us. Remember, he was found fashioned as a man. His humanity cooperated because his humanity loved Yah too. Oh, yeah, he was 100% man. It was the word that was made flesh, but when he became a human being, he really became one. And he cooperated with the word. To the point of saying, not my will as a human being, but thy will be done. I'm going to bow down to the word just like everybody else got to. He was our perfect example. He did it. Come on, y'all. Looking on the Yahushua, who's the often adventurer of our faith, who for the joy that was set before us endured the torture state, despising the shame. Now, he talking deep because just like the stuff we go through and we hate it, but we endure it because we're in love with him like that. Are y'all there yet? Are y'all there? Be patient with yourself, but I'm just saying, are y'all there yet? 
because it's a growth. You just don't join him and fall in love with him to the point that you have a, a, a joy that surpasses all understanding, a peace that's bigger than someone disrespecting you, a peace that's bigger than even sometimes you feel lonely and horny. Do not get it twisted because even married folks be lonely and horny. Looking on to the Messiah, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before before him endured, he didn't quit, despising the shame. Oh, I didn't been through some stuff I despised. And I could have did something different, but I chose not my will, but thy will be done. Have your way. I'm going to hold on to you. I didn't cry before. Literally. I'm not even talking about figuratively speaking. Man, I didn't got I could have did something about it, but but since I refused to go against Yah to do something about it, I cried. Grown tough dude. Boohooing. Dropped my head and cried. I even cried in front of people before and I was so frustrated. I'm talking about the people that was persecuting me. I didn't let the thought in, kick up behind, because it showed Cain, you need to whoop somebody now. Drop my head and cry. And walked away with the victory. Straight up. Look at one of Yahushua, who's the author and the future of our faith, who for the joy, something was in him. Oh, I got to do this. Ooh, you're talking good, Titus. Looking on you, who shoes the author and future of our faith, who for the joy that was said before, endure, didn't quit. Be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you'll reap if you faint not, despising the shame. But guess, look at the results, though. And now it's set down at the right hand of the throne, and yeah, he did it. He pulled it off. He did it. I, I'm going to take about two more minutes. So I am going to read the third verse. I wasn't going to. I was going to stop right here. Extra credit. For consider him. Now we take it. He told us in the first verse, wherefore seeing we can pass the Bible with so great a cloud of witnesses. Talking about all the patriots and all the believers in the Bible. But then we got to the, the king. The prince of life. The Messiah. Listen. For consider him, now we consider him. For consider him that endures such contradiction of sinners against himself. People came against him. The people he came to save was how to crucify him. Cruci you joker, I just fed you. I took some fish sticks and some biscuits. I healed your family members. I preached the gospel on y'all. And you jokers is opening your mouth saying kill him. You want to kill me? For consider him that endures such a contradiction of sinners against himself. He did it. So, so can you. Don't be like these church folk. I ain't Jesus. <laughs> Man, that is such a cop out. So you making a lane for yourself to say you're not going to obey y'all like he did? You want to make him, you want to deify him to the point that, 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 that you, you're going to deny his human nature, his humanism, and the fact that he had to fight too? To say you're not going to fight? To obey? You, you, you going to make your flesh different from his? He was sweating. He was dropping like blood. He was sweating, saying I would, that this cup passed for me. But he concluded, nevertheless, you mean to tell me you're not going to say the same thing? Kill how mad you are, how lonely you are, how hard it gets. I'm telling you the truth, y'all. I'm trying to preach life to you. And what's going to help us, me too, I ain't special. What's going to help us is to take him into consideration. For consider him that endured. 
Look at what he went through. And don't look at it from, I ain't Jesus. That's a jacked up thought. That soft thought came from the devil. Anytime we want to act a fool and turn on y'all, we say, I ain't Jesus. Well, that's him. He the son of God. Yeah, all that old dumb stuff. As if the most high don't have the same expectation for us. And he does. He expects you to obey him just like the Messiah did. That's why he's our example. That's why we're looking on the Yahushua, the second, but we're looking on him, watching his example. He's a part of our example. He's not to be isolated and excluded. I ain't Jesus. No, do what he did. That's what that old bracelet was about. What would Jesus do? Do what Yahushua did. That's why he did it, to show us what we should do. He didn't do it so you could say, oh, I ain't him. <laughs> we be playing, don't we? Oh, I'm not you. Come, hey, we have y'all did that before? Oh, I mean, I mean, what you thought I was Jesus or something? <laughs> well, the Bible's telling you to consider him, and he endured such a contradiction of sinners against himself, directly against him. After he blessed them, healed them, saved them, then them same jokers kill him, give us Barabbas. Kill him. I'll take that big buff dude with the tattoos. Boy, look at him. And that was a man saying that. Y'all thought that was a woman, didn't you? Ooh, I'll take that big, who's that? The Rock? Give me The Rock. Joker, you. <laughs> you joker, you. Listen, for consider, I'm finna go, y'all. This is the extra credit. For, for consider him that endures such a contradiction of sinners against himself. Least ye be wearied and faint in your minds. And the weariness is, I ain't Jesus. You faint it. You quit. Don't quit. Um, what I say on the one, I say on the all. It's for me too. Sin throws you off. And somehow we got to turn against sin because sin definitely turned against us. It's our kryptonite. It's the reason why we got shipped into this to this, to this, this uh, place in the first place. Reason why we fill all the prisons. Reason why we call strange fruit hanging from trees. They did an execution the other day and the paper in Alabama, they was talking about it was a botched execution they tortured that man and word has it he fought them because they were torturing him they tortured him so bad that they won't even show the, uh, the autopsy reports because that was they hate us that's the that's only thing i can tell you and we need the most high and we need to look at the cloud of witnesses and we need to hold on and we need to celebrate that he wrote our lives into the victory. And we can hold on. And you better understand that, please. You don't have to, but you would want to. And me too. I ain't going to quit. I feel like quitting before. Heck, it's rough. But I'm going to consider him. He did it. The cloud of witnesses, they did it. We can do it too. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you humble. We know how gleaning the truth of thy word, that word is truth. Continue to illuminate your children, quicken us, make us alive, reveal truth to us. Keep your children. Oh, your bloodline, uh, uh, the, 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 the spiritual line, the spiritual line, the grafting in. Everybody can get it. Give it to your children. You so love the world. Save us all. We repent. We turn from our wicked ways and we choose you. And fill us up with your ruah, your spirit. Shower down the power in this very hour that we may obey you and we'll be careful to give you the praise and honor, not only now, but forever. In the matchless name, Yahushua, we help me pray. Hallelujah. 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 That was the lesson for today. I pray we all continue to obey everything the most I say. Okay? Okay. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for pushing the share button. 
Thanks for uh, t tagging. That is so amazing. Continue, continue to to do so. Thank you everybody that financially supports this ministry. Obviously, if you would financially support the ministry, then heck, the ministry got to be spiritually supporting you. And I thank the most high for you. September 10th, y'all, if y'all out here, y'all register. Come on, hang out with us. We got some of our beautiful family coming out of town. Let's hang together. Saturday, September 10th. We're going, we, the, the, the restaurant, Yummies, is going to be feeding us. And we're going to have a good time. Good teaching. Good teachers. We're going to have a good time in him. I pray y'all register and come on out and hang with us. Other than that, I'm going to get to the line. Y'all want to join us? 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Love y'all. Y'all be Baruch and Baruch and Shalom. I'm gone.